from the soul with it. What's going on everybody, the Island Ricks coming to you live with yet another video. If you're new to the channel, please be sure to click that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can be a part of the notification squad, squad, squad. So I got to talk to y'all about Damian Lillard and Russell Westbrook. So I want to say this. I'm seeing a lot of people criticizing Damian Lillard. So I want to see those same people take that energy and criticize Russell Westbrook. Now, if Russell Westbrook does not come out victorious in this series and lose to a rookie, I want for y'all to have that same energy and criticize Russell Westbrook even more than y'all doing Damian Lillard. And here's why I say this. Russell Westbrook has had more talent than Damian Lillard has had over the past few years. No matter how you want to cut it, slice it, or dice it, whether we're talking about James Harden, whether we're talking about Kevin Durant, one of the like most, I mean, you, it gets no bigger than that. He's like one of the biggest superstars in the NBA right now besides Steph Curry and LeBron. Like, it gets no bigger than that. You have... One of the greatest players in the NBA, you got Paul George. I mean, Carmelo is not, you know, the player that he once was in his prime, you know. But, I mean, they still would consider her, consider him, I'm sorry, somewhat of a star, okay? So, you've had all this talent, Serge Ibaka, uh, Victor Oladipo, all these players. And this is going to make it look that much worse that Oladipo came from Orlando, wasn't a big star, but came to your team. And he's going to go on and do far greater things, especially if he is able to beat the referees. I'm sorry, beat the Cavs. Then he's going to do, like, it's going to make it look that much worse. And he, if he does far greater things, it's going to make you, it's going to be like, bro, like, you done had all this talent and you still haven't got far. I mean, you had, you had better talent than you had last year. And your record still isn't, like, that much improved. You know, you still have, like, I think you got the number four seed, and you wasn't that far off last year. And you got way better talent. It's like, bro, what are you doing? And what does that say about you if Paul George leaves, right? Kevin Durant, one of the greatest players in the NBA, he done left you. Now, if Paul George leave you, Victor Oladipo left. He didn't actually, but I mean, he left, you know, no matter how you want to put it. All these players left you. What does that say about you, bro? You get what I'm saying? So it's like, I want you guys to criticize Russell Westbrook just as much. Like, that's what I've been saying over the years. Now people are starting to understand, like, you know, as far as like the triple double thing. Now you got people saying he's padding his stats. And, you know, at first, Everybody used to say I was hating. They were like, bro, you hating on Russell Westbrook. You don't like Russell Westbrook, bro. You a hater, bro. Now, all of a sudden, y'all starting to see, well, you have people out here starting to see what I was saying. You know, people was championing the triple doubles. You know, people believe in hype. And that's a huge problem in this generation. Y'all believe in antics and hype. And y'all can't cipher the talent. You see, like, it's people who had antics, but they had talent. Like Floyd Mayweather had antics, but he backed it up with his talent. You have to be able to see the talent within, you know, the skills. See, Russell Westbrook, he doesn't, he's a mini version of LeBron James, bro. Like, he doesn't have the footwork. I, for one, said that Russell Westbrook has the chance to be a Michael Jordan or be a, a Kobe Bryant. He has their attitude, but he doesn't know how to channel it. He doesn't have a Phil Jackson type coach. He doesn't have the discipline that, you know, Michael Jordan and Kobe had. See, they were had they were obsessive over basketball. They loved it. Like they would leave their life on the line. And Russell Westbrook doesn't focus on other aspects of his game, like his shooting ability. Like he should be higher, shoot at a higher percentage than he does and become more consistent. He's not as much of a clutch 
player. He's a hothead. He doesn't know how to control his emotions. That's why you see Patrick Be Beverly and all these other guys are able to get inside of his head. You know, and Russell Westbrook, he doesn't have the footwork of a Kobe Bryant. These guys, you know, you see when Russell Westbrook, he drives, go 100 miles per hour to the board, to the basket, I'm sorry. And once you stop him, he's not able to pivot towards the basket or pivot, you know, and fade away because he's not that great at, you know, excelling that footwork. He has to pass it to his shooters. And it's good for now, but as you get older, you can't depend on that athleticism. You see LeBron James is gassing out, you know, and he somewhat keeps his body in shape somewhat. But, you know, Damian Lillard, I understand that people want to criticize Damian Lillard. He does talk a lot, but we got to focus on Russell Westbrook as well because Russell Westbrook, if you lose to a rookie, bro, Donovan Mitchell, and the Jazz, and you have better talent than them, then that says a lot about you. You know, I was telling people those triple doubles were overrated. I was telling you guys that because you look at it, Draymond Green could easily average a triple double. If he averaged 10 points, 10 assists, and 10 rebounds, he could do that because he initiates the offense. Him and Steph Curry and Kevin Durant. If Kevin Durant wanted to, he could easily, anybody could average a triple double. You know, Steph Curry almost averaged a triple double last year in the NBA Finals. So it's easy to average a triple-double. All it takes is 10, 10, and 10, and you can get a triple-double. You know, it's just that simple, like, to get a triple-double. Anybody can get that 10 points, 10 assists, 10 rebounds, you know? So I think we have to also not just – if you're going to criticize Damian Lillard, which is fine, that's no problem. But you also have to criticize Russell Westbrook because he has 10 times more talent than – you know, Damian Lillard has had over the years.